The first two meets every year are always kind of a, a mixed bag. You're always going to have kids that, you know, really show up, show you they put in a lot of work over the summer and the fall, and you're always going to have kids that get a bit of a wake-up call that know that, you know, it's, it's time to get a little bit more serious about things. I think that we got a little bit of that on all ends. Um, definitely some exciting things, things to look forward to. The group that we ended up taking to Youngstown State, uh, virtually everybody that went to that meet had a huge meet. Um, you know, Michael Rodeski did not look like himself in the opener in the half, and then he went to Youngstown State and ran against the big guys and, and uh, is exactly where he wants to be right now. Um, Dominic learning how to pole vault, getting ready for that heptathlon. Cassandra getting back in the weight. I mean, everybody, everybody who we, we really look to for leadership and great performance did, did great stuff in, in, in the first two weeks. It's a very uh, incredible story, emotional story for a lot of us that, you know, going through last year and seeing how much, you know, was, was instantaneously dashed away and the, the resilience, perseverance, all the things that, that you need to get back to just being able to compete. And, you know, Coach, Coach Rock has said all year, every day starts at zero to keep people's expectations in check. And uh, I don't think anybody is more in tune with that philosophy than she is. Every day she comes and she's grateful to compete and to train. And I, I know she, she was doing some of her max testing for lifting uh, this week and, and the numbers would, would blow your mind for, for any athlete, you know. And, and so uh, it's just incredible to watch somebody come back from that and be in a situation where she's kind of controlling her own destiny. and. You know, just having fun. I mean, on, on, on Friday at Youngstown State, she wasn't throwing very well until she remembered why it was fun. And that's something that's very special to us as coaches. And, you know, because we know that that's her greatest capabilities come out when she's enjoying herself. So um, sky's the limit, though. I mean, she, she could be everything she ever was. Michael Resky, Dominic Odo, um, definitely. I mean, Dom, Dom has been somebody who, you know, he came to us essentially a, a, a long dis or sorry, <laughs> not long just a mid distance and long jumping person uh, said he wanted to do decathlon I was skeptical and he is he is more than than held up his side of the bargain every every step of the way um, becoming you know elite in the conference and every every event he tries I mean he just he's he's only pole vaulted for maybe 12 sessions and he's already our best pole vaulter and that's you know, I think he has national potential in the heptathlon and he'll obviously be somebody who will be competing for all conference honors in multiple events uh, in the UAA. Michael, same thing. I mean, just, you know, put in a great cross-country season, getting his base down, and now he's, you know, he's he knocked the rust off a little bit and, and got his confidence back. I think Jonathan Haling is one who who is kind of an enigma. The guy trains like a marathon runner, but he runs runs fast as lightning now. And uh, I think he's he's going to carry that torch that was held by Wayner and Abibo over the past couple of years of being that that all conference quarter mile guy who you can depend on every week. And um, I'd say beyond that, I'm I'm really looking forward to seeing how Jordan Butler blossoms as a sophomore. I think last year he kind of surprised himself with how how good he could be, and this year he's putting a lot of extra work. And I could tell in the first meet he had he had really high expectations for himself, which was something where last year he kind of just came to every meet and just did what he was doing. But that's a special thing. I think once you start to have, have high expectations for yourself as a competitor, things get, they get interesting. You know, you, you, you have a bad meet and then you don't just say, oh, well, I had a bad meet. You get back in the gym and you do the extra stuff and, you know, it kind of ups your diligence a little bit. That meet is always very special to us culturally as a team. We, we you know, no matter what, uh, what the meet is on paper going in, it always comes down to the last couple of events and people, you know, people have really found themselves for the first time sometimes as, as, as great competitors for our program. I can look back to, I want to say it was 20, 2016 or 15 when, you know, nobody knew who Nate Wainer was and he anchored the 4x4 four four and in, in a very special moment became an incredible competitor. I think that's something that I look forward to every year and I think it's good to have it at the beginning of, of the indoor season because it kind of sets the tone. You know, it, it, it gets people excited for everything that's, that's in front of them, the All-Ohio, the UAA Championship. Um, but yeah, it's a, it's, a, it's a special competition that I think is, is something we all look forward to getting back to school and it keeps us motivated over break. It, you know, us coaches lose sleep because we're, we're hands off for, you know, five weeks waiting for the kids to come back and hoping, hoping that they've, they've done all their parts to stay in shape and get ready for it. But um, I think it's special in that kids, they think about it. They want to matter in the duel. So they do do the right things over, over the holiday break and, um, you know, come back with a little bit of, of, you know, aggression and attention to detail and whatnot. So 